Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Ben Franklin once said, the best way to cure poverty is to make people uncomfortable in it. And the Bible puts it in even stronger terms when it says, if a man will not work, neither let him eat. The cure for poverty is not taking money from those who work for a living and lavishing it on those who can but won't work. A job can do more for mental health than a whole boatload of psychobabble counselors. America's welfare programs started out as emergency handouts to keep families that fell on hard times from starving. Most were ashamed to be on the public dole and tried to hide it from their friends. As soon as they could, they got off those government handouts by taking any job that came their way. My, how things have changed. Actually, you know, the only way any welfare program can work is when people don't want to be on it. Not working has become one of America's favorite professions. I've heard some refer to getting a welfare check as the family business. People living in government handouts has gotten so bad that it's actually threatening our national economy. Ronald Reagan once said that liberals measure compassion by how many people get welfare. Conservatives measure it by how many people no longer need it. Lavish welfare schemes have caused terrible harm to America's work ethic and to millions of families. It is absolutely shameful that so many people are completely dependent on government to take care of them. The longer we let this government foolishness go on, the more harm will be done. It's time for some tough love in the USA. It's time for some biblical principles to be returned to our culture. If a man can work but won't, he should not get a dime from the government. America needs to take some of that money that is commonly wasted on stupid programs and invest it in an effective welfare fraud investigation program. If they did that, then perhaps there wouldn't be so many young men available to loot and burn cities. This is Wild Bill for America saying, think about it. Thanks for watching, and America bless God again.